Good evening all, and good afternoon to some of you, and morning to those of you who still haven't woken up yet. You will. <laughs> How the devil are you? All is good here at D-Lands. Um, yes, thank you to everyone that's commented on the last few videos, watched the last few videos. Um, hopefully you found some interesting, useful, or just plain stupid stuff going on there. Um, excellent fun. I will keep it going. Thank you very much. Um, beer of the evening. What's this one? Or beer of this particular glass of beer. Bombardier. Or as we say, Bombardier. Because you shouldn't. Burning Gold. Which I hope is not a... Um, doesn't say that's how it comes out the next morning, so... Should be good. Oh, oh, burning hot, red hot, gold bar. Bring me my beer of burning gold. Awaken your senses. Bring me my beer of burning gold. Awaken your senses with zesty aromas. Let the crisp, fresh crispness tingle your taste buds and enjoy a smooth, lasting finish. Blah, 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 blah. Bang on. Then it's 4.7%. Uh, Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It was my birthday. I had, uh, I went to my brother's and see my mum dad, went down with brothers and uh, had a good, good, good time. And uh, this is one of the beers I had been given. So, and now I'm gonna drink it, because I'm good like that. Charlie Wells Bombardier brewed in Bedfordshire, I think. I'm sure it is, it used to be. Bombin. Bombardier. Why am I looking at that so bloody intently? Who cares? Hey, Wells Brewery, yes, yeah, so it is. That's brewed in, um, used to be. God's sake, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bedford. Yay, yay, yay. See, I know things. It's gold because I've got a gold guitar. Aha. Uh -huh. I wasn't thinking that, but just by. One of these things is not like the other one of... Didn't someone get a copyright strike for Sesame Street on a hangout? Didn't Ed get us a copyright strike on a hangout? Us a bunch of... Serene old armchairs, I think. Well, isn't that what we've been called? Was it? Serene old arms hats. Oh, shit. That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> what did I get for my birthday? What I asked for was a pair of gloves, and I got a pair of gloves. Excellent value. One of the best things you can do with a pair of gloves, and I forgot to bring them in here before I bought, did the video. And I can either walk all the way out of the kitchen and get them, which is about... Hang on. Two, three, four, five, six. It's about six paces from here to get the gloves. Um, I don't think I can be asked, really. I think I'll, I'll recount, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, hang on. Wobbly. Four, five. I could, well, I could do it. I just walked there in five. I just got to the gloves in five as opposed to six. But it was a bit of a stretch. And I must admit, you know, got these long stupid legs that do this, kneecaps, you know. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, you know, it gets a bit wobbly. You're only on one foot, and you're oh, hang on, which leg is what? Hang on, ah, ah, because normally I just there's a metal spike that runs up the back here, the back of me, back of my jacket. And it sits me propped up here on the sofa. They just like work it with strings, like the old, okay, Mr. Tracy, and all that sort of business. So uh, that's how we do it here. Instant mashed potato. Just add water, stir the fork. But. I will certainly start swearing when I'm doing it in future because I think um, that just added so much value. When someone who doesn't normally swear on their YouTube videos really, really lets rip <laughs> over and over again. 
<laughs> because of potatoes. <laughs> that had me hysterics. It was not the latest Mercurial number six video. Absolutely hilarious. He, uh, yes, yeah. He can make mashed potatoes entertaining. I'll go and put these back anyway. These, these, are, these are just in the kitchen, just past the gloves anyway. Hang on. So um, yeah, I can't be asked to go all the way out there and get those fucking gloves. So um, I'll show you this anyway. It's one of the best, you know, great things. You've got a pair of gloves, and uh, you know, you know where they are, and you can find them easily. And they just, you know, get up. Just, just like, don't sit there being a, being a, being a sedentary. Penguin botherer, whatever the, what, what was it? And. Um, just get up, walk out there, get the gloves. Own those gloves. You are the glove. Be the glove. So for this, I can't be asked to say I walk all the way out there and back. As I say, it's how many, it was, um, if, six, hang on, I can't remember how many it was. One, two, three, four, fuck's sake, five, six, fucking six. fucking six that time I'm sure I did it in four earlier so let's say in the condition I'm in now six steps there and I don't know how many it is back hang on so hang on, I've got to stop this up the door first then three then four then five and I've got to turn around like that so six and it's quite a difficult turn because the guitar is here on the floor you see where I put it and um, so it's about so it's about six difficult steps. Two of them back from the gloves are quite difficult. So what I'm going to do, as I say, just, you know, we're all here to have a bit of fun. And it's like, you know, um, so grab your gloves. Doesn't matter where they are. If you haven't got any, go and buy some. Make the effort because it's worthwhile, I think. And I think it's really uh, something that, you know, you'll treasure uh, for, for several, probably. I, I know, I know I have. 4.7%. 4.7%. Oh, me burning gold. So, get your gloves. Have you got them? Great. And now we do. I'll do this with these because I haven't got any gloves in them. You know, these are there. These are just sitting there. I'm going to just use because, but say, make the effort. Go that extra mile. Anyway, what you do is this: you put one there. Imagine, imagine you got the gloves. Hang on, I've got. Uh, you got the thumb. Hang on, like that. No. Imagine that your glove. Which way is it? It goes on your. So, oh, here. Are. So you got your arm. If your arm went in the glove, and then you had the thing on top, like that. That's it. Or is it more like that? It's. I do it with the other. So. You've got the same hand. Hang on. So that's, that's that one, so that's that one, I can imagine that, you can imagine that on there, glove, no, so the, so, okay, I think I'll, hang on, and that one's, okay, that's, because one of them's got to be something like this, and the other one I can't think it's like, but it's, hang on, I'll put these back, I'll sort it out. Did I do the potatoes? Where's the potatoes? So. Right, 
It's like a fucking chicken. Makes a lot of hiss. <clears throat> Even more if you turn it on. I knew that obviously. I was just showing you, you know, the contrast. That's no hiss, and this is some hiss. things you know weeks and stuff like that and uh, it's nice every so often just to clear the diary that's why I'm recommending burning gold when you really have to clear the diary hello can't come into work no one needs that in their life no one absolutely no one needs that in their life minutes into the video I can't cancel the whole thing because of shite guitar playing <laughs>
trying to slide around this guitar and the strings need replacing, I just realised and they're just really grippy. You don't want grippy strings. <laughs> Last thing you want your strings to be is grippy. You want to be slidey and lovely and hoo hoo hoo. Not grippy and spiky and rusty. They're not rusty, they're getting... <laughs> Anyway, quite enough of that. What have I done? What have I done? The glove thing, yes. Go and get some gloves and try that because it's absolutely, um, it's like a spiritual experience, except without the um, religion or the transcendental, you know, mind shit. <laughs> I, I assume that's how it works. Um, I've not really read the book. I, uh, I haven't really. I saw what was it? Fantasia? No, Fantasia. Who's what the hell? What? Hang on. We got an intern here. It's called uh, was it Jeff? Is it? Was it? God, God, fuck off, Jeff. Um, and um, how long's he been here? How long have you been here, Jeff? Don't you call me Clive? You fucking what? Fifteen years, yep. Yeah. No one knows he is, who, what he is, who he was, was he diz, and dizzy wed, and once did the did land, and the fire, and with that, I fear. <laughs> In the immortal words of Bob Krakow, was there? I will see you again on the next video from Disgrace Lands. You didn't actually realise, did you, that I'm in fact Bob Krakow, the well known character actor? Roboland is just this silly little thing I created for a laugh when I was drunk on YouTube one night, and it went a bit too far. Far too far. Far too far too far. Tis a far, far. Thank God for that. I shat in Macbeth. Shakespeare. Where else do you get that? Oh, apparently it's Shakespeare. Well, fuck off then. That's Jeff again. I don't know how he's, he's, he works in, you know. He's got his own crawl, crawl tunnels, or crawl space and tunnels apparently underneath the tiles. Dave spends most of his time. Oh yeah, Dave, you pineapple face. He shaved his beard off. He decided he's gonna be hipster. Then he said it's too hot. And uh, I don't know what that's to Get out of it, get out of it. Anyway, I stop saying anyway, because that is clearly annoying and repetitive. Buy some gloves. Stick one on your th and the other one, and rah, 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 it's like just it's like being there, mate. It really is. And if it's not, then try harder. Take it easy. See you on the next one.